For the last two years, my sister Terry has been involved with a man by the name of Ricardo. They met on Facebook Messenger. Ricardo claims that he's a U.S. citizen, that he has a home in Malibu, but he claims that he is in Canada. Allegedly, Ricardo has an import-export business, and he also has a construction business. Ricardo does tell my sister Terry that he's in love with her, he wants to marry her, he wants to share his millions with her, and Terry believes it. Ricardo looks to be late 50s, very handsome. Neither Terry or myself should expect a millionaire stranger that looks like Ricardo to fall in love with us. Terry has never met Ricardo. They've been dating for two years. Ricardo has told Terry at least every month that he's coming back to the United States. And he makes excuses probably over 20 times. When I saw Ricardo on video, he looked just like the photos he had sent me, so I knew he was real. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't believe it. Because first of all, you never told me that you had a video. I'm thinking maybe you're getting confused. My understanding is that Terry has sent Ricardo between $50,000 and $75,000 over the last two years. It makes me sick to my stomach and sad. I know that Ricardo is a scammer because why would a millionaire ask somebody for money? I have confronted Terry multiple times. I've lost my temper with her more than once. I've told her that she's being scammed and she told me no. Everybody believes I'm being scammed except me. If she cannot afford this, she can't afford to be sending anyone money. If she was sending it to a nunnery, she couldn't afford to be that's, doing that right that's now, correct. right? That's correct, that's correct. And, and so she's doing this at her own peril. And sometimes she doesn't even have money for groceries, right? I've sent her groceries multiple times over she's the last few years. She's had to go years. to food banks and she stuff, and she's sending bank. this jerk money? Yes. Now, how many times has he said, hey, I'm going to be there. We're going we're gonna to meet. Probably more than I know, but at least 20 times. Yeah, so. at least 20 times. Yes. And he's in Canada. Supposedly. Okay, that's what he says. Yes. I mean, that's his story. Yes. And, you know, that's not like the jungles of Africa. He, <laughs> he says he's in Canada. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, that, that's like going to Bakersfield. It, it, really? Well, and she lives in Vancouver, Washington, which is not that far away from Canada. It's like L.A. It's like Denver. It's like, it's just a city. You, it, it's not like you've got a sneak in or something. So why hasn't she gone to see him? He, he says, I'm coming 20 times. What's her reason to say, hey, I'm going to surprise him. I'm just going to go there and make his day. Well, I don't think she really knows exactly where he's at, and she doesn't have any money to travel. Yeah. <laughs> this woman was a staff sergeant working in intelligence. Um, yes. Oh, wow. She could find them, <laughs> right? I mean, if she, you, because you got to ask, does she does she really want to know, or is she afraid to find out? I think she's afraid to find out. Uh, I think she does really want to know. Because but... let me tell you something, uh, uh, Tammy. Because I, I take this very seriously. We, we've Thank put a lot you. of resources into this, and I don't take lightly bursting her bubble here because this is a sad day for her to find out if she's being scammed and I, I don't take lightly breaking somebody's heart and I, 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 I really don't I, I, I realize she's very much into this and and will mourn this relationship if it's lost I mean that'll be a hard time for her yes. and that's not fun to visit that on someone but I tell you what the only thing worse than being in a fraudulent non-existent relationship for a year is being in it for a year and one day. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.